Thank you, good evening and welcome to The Late Look North. First tonight, the father of a teenager who died while swimming in a river in West Yorkshire has told Look North about the shock of losing his son. 16-year-old Tyler Wilson drowned last month in the River Calder in Castleford. His dad, Carl, now wants to warn people of the dangers of going in open water. Yeah, where them reeds are, shouted I'm stuck. Went under, didn't come back up. He was just here in this area. I keep I saw them all, like, all these bushes were flat down here where, where all rescuers, you know, they got him out and pushed him up into an ambulance up there. From what I gathered, there were a group of them uh, messing about down here and Tyler said he were jumping in and uh, he jumped in. Uh, he had his clothes on, his shoes on. I've done it, everyone's done it, you, do, you think you're invincible and uh, you're really not, clearly. I've never seen as many police, ambulance, rescue teams, there were all, all sorts of decent people here to try and help out. I felt inhuman at the time, I was shocked. I couldn't cry, I couldn't scream. I just um, stood there watching everyone trying to do the best for Tyler, front bridge. <sighs> I've done it myself. It's just a, it's just a stupid thing to do. Um, but what else do they do? Where do they go? Do you know? It is a fun thing, you know, swimming. It's brilliant. But round here, you know, there's new one at Ponte. You can go to swimming baths, or you can go to places where the patrol. It's not worth anyone's life to come to a place like this. There's n there's no one about. There's no help. There's no nothing. There ain't even a rubber ring here. You know, a life ring. Um, it's just definitely not a good thing to do. Uh, it leaves a, a devastating trail for people to pick up. It's done me mentally, physically, emotionally. It's ruined me. Police say a baby boy last seen at Sheffield's Children's Hospital three months ago may have an undiagnosed medical condition. Durham Constabulary are appealing for help in locating Jurian and Brasilda Baxia, whose one-year-old son needs further examination by doctors. The family is reported to have links to South Yorkshire. Schools around Harrogate say they may suspend students if they're caught with e-cigarettes. Eleven secondary schools and colleges have written a joint letter to parents. It reminds them that selling vapes to under-18s is illegal and warns of the extra risk of vaping illegal substances linked to cannabis. The schools say they'll continue to educate students and issue sanctions to anyone caught with a vape on school premises. Normal maturation of a child where you're interested, you're exploring different things, um, is, is still there obviously for children, it's maybe been amplified post-pandemic, post but I think the main issue that we've seen increase in schools is that the, the, the level of which they're available and how they really seem to be targeted at young, young people. More than 2,000 workers are to be made redundant after Yorkshire delivery firm Tufnell's Parcels Express went into administration. The Sheffield-based business has appointed administrators after failing to secure new funding. The majority of Tufnell's staff working in its 33 UK depots will be made redundant. Now, around 35 firefighters tackled a large fire in Leeds earlier. Videos on social media showed large plumes of black smoke over Bramley just before midday. Twelve vehicles were destroyed in the fire. People nearby reported hearing several explosions and Stanningley Bypass had to be closed for a time while firefighters extinguished it. A former coal mining areas around Barnsley, Doncaster and Wakefield need more money, according to a report by MPs. Research by Sheffield Hallam University shows for every 100 working aged people, there are only 55 jobs in former coalfield areas, compared to 79 in other places. Recommendations in the report by the all-party parliamentary group on coalfield communities include more apprenticeships and better transport. 
Now, the play Life of Pi, which premiered in Sheffield, has won three Tony Awards. The ceremony was held in New York on Broadway's biggest night of the year. Life of Pi won Best Scenic Design in a Play, Best Sound Design and Best Lighting Design. The creatives thanked Sheffield in their acceptance speeches. And King Charles visited North Yorkshire today, arriving on the Royal Train, which was pulled by the famous Flying Scotsman locomotive. The King stopped off at Pickering Station on the North Yorkshire Moors Railway, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary. King Charles spent time talking to people on the platform before moving to the town square to meet, meet with shop owners. Now, Paul's here with the weather. There were heavy downpours and thunder in Sheffield, according to my wife. Yes, on. that's right. She's a very good observer. Uh, the first rain, actually, for about a month, which is uh, quite something. Chesterfield got a lot of downpours as well, but elsewhere it has been dry. It's actually been the hottest day of the year so far, 29 degrees recorded quite widely across our region. Tomorrow's sunny and hot once again. High pressure still in charge. It'll be there all week. So for the rest of tonight, a bit of patchy cloud across um, South Yorkshire again, across the North Midlands for a time, but most of us will be dry and lengthy clear periods developing. We'll see lowest temperatures around 11 or 12, so quite a humid night to come. And then for tomorrow, well, it's another fabulous June day. If you like the hot sunshine, that is uh, very little, if any, cloud around. A dry, long spells of sunshine. I think just temperatures a shade lower, 27, 28 degrees. That is still the low. 80s Fahrenheit. A little bit fresher as we head through the second half of the week and a hint of something a little bit more unsettled late in the weekend and into early next week. That's it. Thanks a lot, Paul. Claire's back with bulletins in the BBC Breakfast programme tomorrow morning from 6. Thanks for watching from all of the late team. Have a very good night. Bye bye. Who am I? Who am I? Who